The new 2.0-liter Stellantis engine is a major move forward, using lessons from the first global medium engine and the Hurricane 6, and combining them with Maserati's efforts. It combines the skills of engineers formerly at Chrysler, Fiat, Peugeot, and Maserati, and probably there's some Ferrari in there too. First, let's look at the numbers. In the Grand Cherokee, it seems to get an extra one mile per gallon over the V6 running on regular gasoline. Yet, it provides 324 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque, considerably more than the V6. What's more, the peak torque is good from 3,000 to 4,500 RPM. Some of the new technology includes a variable geometry turbocharger, which was first used by Chrysler in the 1991 Spirit RT, but is now quite common. The most unusual feature is turbulent jet ignition, which lights a little fuel in a pre-chamber atop each cylinder. That burning fuel jets into the chamber, triggering a fast, complete burn, increasing both performance and efficiency. The engineers combine that with a Miller cycle, which closes intake valves early, locking in the power and reducing emissions, and allowing an absurdly high 12.1 compression ratio without knock on regular fuel. 12.1 is quite impressive for a turbo engine on regular gas. The Hurricane has twin spark plugs, one for the jet chamber and one is for the main combustion chamber. That makes it quite different from the Hemi V8 or old Alfa Romeo twin spark systems. Many people are afraid of direct injection because early direct injection engines tended to carbon up and fail. The solution to that has been known for years, using port fuel injection as well. This engine uses both, with 5,076 PSI direct injection and port injection alike. Both are used on cold starts and typical power loads, but at low load and idle, they only use port injection, which cuts particulates and noise. The turbocharger delivers a nice 35 PSI, which is 2.4 bar. Just one turbocharger is used, instead of two with the Hurricane 6. It provides 90% of peak torque from 2600 to 5600 RPM, which means you have more torque at 2600 RPM than the Pentastar V6 has at peak. As you would expect, there is a charge air cooler, which people often and wrongly call an intercooler. The water pump is electrical, and the oil pump has variable displacement to avoid parasitic losses. Even the variable valve timing is controlled by an electric camshaft phaser. The block is nice and strong, a die-cast deep-skirt aluminum single-piece casting produced by Stellantis. Bore walls are 24% thicker than in the first GME 2-liter 4-cylinder, and there are numerous other features which increase stiffness and durability. Sodium-filled exhaust valves, for example, go way back to early Chrysler truck engines. This engine is meant to last, which is good, because it is rated for over 6,000 pounds of towing in the Jeep Grand Cherokee. The engine is made in Dundee, Michigan, and will also be made in Kokomo, Indiana.